quite a few people ask me what it looks like to kind of blend your own ethanol fuel. Um, so I just thought I'd make a quick video. I'm whipping up a batch now. Uh, my voice sounds muffled. I've got my uh, mask on, I've got my eye protection on, got my gloves on. Ethanol is not particularly great stuff to be breathing in. Garage doors open for ventilation. There's the uh, other jerry cans. I've got two 20 litre jerry cans and I'm blending E30, which is ethanol 30, so 30% 30 ethanol. So in a 20 litre jerry can, we're going to be putting six litres of ethanol into the can and then go to the petrol station and put 14 litres of uh, 99 Rand fuel in. So the ethanol itself, it's just 100% bioethanol. So you can see here, this is for a fireplace. Um, <laughs> doesn't really matter what it's for. The thing that matters is that it's 100% ethanol close. I mean, you can have like 98, 99% purity, which they usually are. Um, so this comes in one litre bottles. Take the cap off. I've got my little plier jobbies here uh, to just pull out. Normally this is for just like squirting it into a little filling hole in a fireplace. Obviously I just kind of want to dump the whole thing in. So this jerry can is empty and it is literally a case of putting six litres of this into this and then putting 14 litres of petrol into it and then putting this into my car and that's pretty much it there's really not a lot to it it's literally just mixing ethanol and petrol and then putting it into that thing over there so yep yeah, six litres of ethanol 14 litres of petrol you've got to put good petrol in so i go in over to blackburn tesco's uh, where we have the 99 run momentum or shell v power is the other one that you could use um and that's it. It's literally, it's really dead simple. So that's, that's how, I mean, you can't do this on a normal car. Please don't go and do this on your, <laughs> your Ford Focus or whatever it might be. Um, you can, but your car just needs, a, you know, it needs remapping and it needs to know to expect ethanol fuel. Now, most of the fuel that we get here in the UK is already actually E5. So it's already ethanol 5% content. Uh, and next year, I believe, if the government sticks to their plans, uh, we'll be going up to E10 in the UK, so it'll be ethanol 10 anyway. So everybody will automatically be doing this, basically, from the fuel pump. Um, so all I'm doing really is just kind of really stepping that up and just going all the way up to E30 now instead. So I'm going to get to it. I've got to mix this up, go fill up the jerry cans and then dump them into the car. <laughs> 